Again, it's a pleasure to be here on Catholic TV. Um, and uh, I'm, my name is Father Sinesha. I'm a priest at St. Paul's in Hingham. And I always love coming here and being on, the, on Catholic TV, celebrating Mass. Today's Gospel is, um, is something to be pondered um, deeply throughout this Holy Week. We have two of the Apostles, both um, on one hand showing allegiance to Christ, and on the other hand committing a grievous sin against our Lord. So you have Judas, of course, who, um, who is one of the Apostles and betrays our Lord by a kiss. Of course, what happens to Judas afterwards is that he gets so depressed and he gets so, his consciousness is, is makes him feel so guilty that he eventually ends up hanging himself. And you have Peter as well, one of the twelve apostles, who ends up denying our Lord three times as our Lord predicts into his gospel. But eventually, uh, he comes back to the Lord and repents of his sin. So you have two, one of the greatest um, people that our Lord chose in history both commit a grievous sin, but one we call a great saint 2,000 years later, and one our Lord spoke of saying that it would, have be it would have been better for that man never to have been born. Speaking of Judas, right? So you have both. Judas and Peter, they both fall tremendously, tremendously. Peter, he promises Jesus, I will, not, I will die with you. I will go with you to the death. I will go with you to the cross. I will go to prison with you. And, and only moments later, he denies him three times. Only moments later, right? History says that Peter grieved so bitterly that the tears left marks on his face for the rest of his life. Okay? And that's one of the reasons we call him a saint 2,000 years later, because he fell, but he got back up again. Judas fell, and Satan told him, stay down, stay down, stay down. There is no redemption for you. You can only stay down because God cannot love you. God will not accept you. You've already betrayed him and it's too late. The only alternative left for you to do is to end your life, which he did, right? Which he did. So what does that mean for us 2,000 years later when we look at these, the lives of these two apostles, right? We, both, we all have to acknowledge that we are it's very similar in many ways when we look at the lives of, of Peter and Judas. Many times we too betray our Lord in different ways, in different sins that we commit, right? Missing Mass, for example, is a sin. And, of course, if you're homebound, you can't get out, it's different. But missing Mass is a sin. Sunday Mass, of course. For us, when we commit a sin, we too have to get back up again. We have to get back up again. The way we get back up again is, of course, to go to the Sacrament of Confession. Right? That's why our Lord was so clever in leaving us seven sacraments. Baptism removes all of our sins, but he knew that after baptism, there will be still plenty of opportunity for us to commit all kinds of sins, right? So especially this Holy Week, Lord, our Lord has so many graces that he wants to pour out upon us, but if our hearts are not prepared to receive those graces, those graces cannot be received. The way we prepare our hearts to receive those graces, graces my brothers and sisters who are watching, is to go to confession, is to make a good, good confession in the Archdiocese of Boston. Most parishes have confession available tomorrow, Wednesday of Holy Week, from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. Most parishes are open in the area where people can go and wash their souls in the blood of Jesus Christ and get back up again like St. Peter and to be ready to receive all the graces of Holy Week. So there's great, great power in the sacrament of confession and we should take advantage of that. We should take advantage of that. Back in the day, in the early church, it, people used to have to do public confessions and then it would take forever for them to get absolution because they would have to do all kinds of penances. But today, you go to a priest, you go in there, say, bless me, Father, if I have sinned. It's been 30 years since my last confession. These are my sins. And you go through all of them, boom, and name them, boom, 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 boom. And the priest gives you a little penance. He absolves you sins 10 minutes later and you're free of your guilt. It's an amazing thing. I hear so many confessions, and it's so beautiful. What a great privilege as a priest to see so many people liberated right in front of me from their sins. And you can just see the joy and the weight lifted off their backs. So, this Holy Week, let us try to be like Peter. Let us try to get back up and go back up by going to the sacrament of confession. Lord, we ask you to give us the courage, especially those who are on the edge of going to confession, who are not so sure. 
that you give each one of us, each one of them, the courage this week, this Holy Week, if the opportunity presents itself, to go to a priest and to make a good, holy confession. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.